All right, let's continue. <clears throat> um, testing on this stuff now. Uh, my tripod has a it has a three quarter spot on it where I can mount this uh, magic arm just for now. I have other ways of um, how the other plans. I probably connect the monitor um, via the twelve uh, via the fifteen millimeter rod. So let's try to get the monitor here. I don't want to take this off. This will be the ideal point to mount it. We'll try any of these these holes. Okay, so let's do that. Or we'll flip it upside down. Let's flip it upside down and use it this way for now. Let's leave it like this. I want you guys to see it as well. Let's do the um. Let's the eye out. All right. Let's get power for this. We turn on the camera. Let's turn this on. Uh, let's turn this guy. So, so maybe we'll bend this one over so you guys can see. It. Okay, so that's the Ursa 12K, and uh, it's in focus right now. Yeah, that's the FX3. Do you want to try this? Let's try this step. Let's see if we can. We're recording now. So we're recording. And it says here the format is, is 4K alright. ProRes HQ. ProRes HQ. And 2160. 24 frames per second. Source is SDI. Yep. So we got it. It's uh, recording. We're gonna stop now and play back the video, and we see the 4K SDI in ProRes HQ. Simple. ProRes, um, the options for recording. Now, if you go to Blackmagic RAW, it will not record. It will say, um, "That's it." constant quality Q5 and go back here and you push the record button Kodak not supported okay so it doesn't record raw unless I, there's something I need to update but I think it, it does progress HQ maximum that's all for this video um, yeah we'll keep testing more things uh, the demands will soon come in in a few days and then we'll be able to do that but i'm sure by the time this video is up the demands will be here and i'll be actually be, be shooting the um video for the demands and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it um as well as usual thank you guys for watching like subscribe join us for the next video so i'll see you there peace